All right, back here at the desk, Michael Goss, David Edmonds, you're here too with the Kiwanis Club, and you guys have been, you said you've been sponsoring the, the, the Spelling Bee champion here for maybe a decade or so. How's it going to be next year when you aren't dealing with the master Michael Goss? Right. <laughs> That's how I said it. They've made my job a lot easier now. The, the Goss family knows the drill, so pretty much just turn over the packet, and they were able to just run with it. So uh, I guess it make my job a little harder next year not having Michael be the champion, but uh, he's done a great job. We've been real proud of him. Uh, Qantas Club of Lafayette and Qantas Club of Acadiana have been sponsoring it for, like I said, over yeah. a decade. And this is the first time since we've been involved that we've had somebody win in three years in a row. And you're the lame duck, so after this year, it's it, huh? Off, yeah. to, off to high school. Yeah, I mean, you can't go to the National Spelling Bee in high school. They stop all Because eighth graders can spell way better than high school kids, <laughs> can't they? You need to keep it up, though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you come uh, work at KATC and proofread some of our scripts? That would, be, our that would actually be great. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Phillips, by the way, is over uh, at uh, the Diva Desk, as we sometimes call it here at KATC, and he's the moderator yeah. for the Spelling Bee. Uh, you want to go first this time? You want me to go first? How do you want to do this? That's David, Daniel's you want to join in? Yeah, why don't you join in with us? Yeah, come on, David, it'd be great. <laughs> all right, let it rip. Okay. All right, I have three they words. They have to flip that teleprompter o over the other way because we can see all the words right I have, there. Uh, yeah. I have three words. I'll start with Dave. I'll work, work this way. Okay. Dave, your first word is ritodome. Ritodome. Ritodome? Mm. Yes, ritodome. Ritodome. The bark external to the last formed periderm. Oh, there's a lot of words in that definition as well. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I'm just going to throw something out there. R I D Y D O M. <laughs> no. Not even close. Write it on. R H Y T I D O M E. See, Write it's it when they throw in those extra letters just for. Oh, he knew how to spell it. I looked, I was well, like, yeah, and he, he, he had this look on his face, like. Without the root or the yeah. language of origin. All right, Katie, are you ready? No. Your word is, I like this word a lot. Oh, great. Your word is suzerain. Suzerain is a superior feudal lord to whom fealty is due. A sentence, for example, would be, Daniel Phillips is a suzerain yeah. of good Saw morning, that one Katie. <laughs> S and I this is gonna S U Ding. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Suzerain is S U Z E R A I N. You know what's annoying is I was gonna say that, but like there's no way that's how that's spelled. There is absolutely no way. <laughs> your fealty though is still due on time to me, your feudal <laughs> lord. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Michael. Your, Michael, your word is trichopteron. Trichopteron. The definition is one of the trichoptera, if that helps. Okay. <laughs> Google. <laughs> trichopteron. T-R-I-C-H-O-P-T-E-R-O-N. Yes. Trichopteron. I mean, was there any doubt? <laughs> David's sweating now. I don't have any other words. Oh, you don't have any other words? Have oh, hold on, David, wait, spell wait, root. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, spell root. Look, here's some. Take some of these. Don't look, don't look. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, we got words for We got for one days. more. One okay. more for David. Um, well, I can't pronounce that one. So we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll just go with in florage. In florage. A process of extracting perfumes by exposing absorbance oh. to the exhalations of flowers in florage. It's on David here. Let's see, we'll go with uh, E-N-F-L-E-U-R-A-G-E. -E. Yes. He's looking at the <laughs> monitor <laughs> over there. <laughs> no, I don't know what monitor you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean a monitor? David, thanks again for helping yeah. Michael go to Washington, D.C. Competition, you said, starts, what, Tuesday? Coming up, you're going to be over there yes. on Tuesday. Yes. Daniel, of course, will be live tweeting. You, go, you might go visit him, huh? I'll be, I'll be in D.C. on Thursday. So if the competition, I don't know if it'll still be going on, but... Uh, yeah. 
He'll Sweet. still be he'll be he'll be in round seven or whatever it is. If you guys have a chance, win it this year. If you guys have a chance to watch Michael, go ahead and, and you know go out and support him because it I mean, is this fun. Is, yeah, it, it, we it had a great time watching it last year. It's on ESPN again, right? That's they have the summit on ESPN three or three ESPN three, and I think the the finals are usually on ESPN two. I think check your local listings. Check ESPN on the web too, Michael. Good luck. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll talk to you a little bit more before the show is over. Six twenty-one.